Hey everybody, it's Kim from GetGreenBeWell.com. I want to show you how quick and easy it is to test your home for radon. Now, if you've heard of radon, but you don't really know what the health problems would be from the gas, here's why it's so problematic. Radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer in the United States, right behind cigarette smoking. And the problem is, is that radon, you can't taste it, you can't smell it, you really never know if you're being exposed. And the only health effect from radon is lung cancer. So you might not even get any warning signs leading up to it. Now, it is so important to test for radon because it is so easy and it can be very inexpensive. And I'm gonna show you um, one of these test kits that I have that we're about ready to use. Now you can do radon testing in short term or long term. You can do short term to get kind of the quick and immediate effects or uh, knowledge of whether or not you have a radon problem. Now radon is a radioactive gas and it is natural. And so it's coming out from rocks and soil that surround your home, which means that it could ebb and flow at any given time during the year. It could be very strong at one point of the year, or it could be a little bit uh, less strong at other points. So there is long-term radon exposure tests as well. I highly suggest if you think that there's any problems with radon in your home that just go ahead and get the short-term test, which we're about to find out um, takes only 48 hours. It only takes two days to do the testing and then you'll get the results. And then that way you know, and if it has an elevated level, you can go ahead and do the long-term testing. Um, now, the other thing about radon is that while it is in rocks and soil, it is more prevalent in certain parts of the country than others. So in the Southern United States, it's not as prevalent. Doesn't mean to say that there's not any radon um, in the ground area that you should be concerned about. But in the Northern United States, it happens to be a little bit more prevalent and something that you should definitely be testing for more in your homes. I'm gonna leave a link below as to the um, map that will show where the radon hotspots are in the country. And if you are Concerned about any cracks in your foundation in your home, that's one of the big ways that radon can come into your house. So if you are buying an older home, you've noticed your home is settling, you see visible cracks in the walls of a basement or around the foundation, these are all really good reasons to test your home for radon. So let me show you how to do this test and then I will open it up, test my own home for it because quite honestly, we have granite countertops and I'm a little concerned that maybe the granite countertops might be having some radon exposure. I seriously doubt it, but some part, some types of granite countertops can do that. So I'm just kind of doing a DIY test and seeing if there's any radon problems in our home and then I would mitigate that if there was. So one of the tests that I highly recommend is from Kansas State University and they do it in conjunction with Alpha Energy Laboratories. And this is a radon sampler. As you can see, it is packaged in plastic. And this is what it looks like. It's very simple. What you have in there is activated charcoal. And what's gonna happen is as soon as I cut open this plastic bag, then my testing sample is gonna start. I'm gonna put it here um, on my countertop for 48 hours. You don't wanna do it any longer than about 72 to 96 hours. 48 is generally good which means two days and there's not really a whole lot of um, situations that you have to worry about in order to do the test i'll show you what the directions say right here so essentially you need to keep your home kind of closed for about 12 hours before starting and then during the test which means like you wouldn't want to have your windows open at night while doing this test and you wouldn't want to do it in a humid environment. Um, you wouldn't want to do it next to a wall. It's pretty simple. So you're going to be able to easily do this test. This specific one, short term, is $15. And the long term is $25. So let's go ahead, cut this open, and get this started. All right, and now I've cut it open. And we have the activated charcoal. Testing is going to start right now. All I'm going to do is just simply lay it on the countertop and let it be for another two days. When I am done, I am going to mail it back in this sampler. You can easily go in the post office box. The postage is already prepaid, so it's only the $15 
uh, fee right now, and that covers everything, results included. So here are the results. Now I just want to reiterate that this was just a short-term test. I didn't really think we had a huge problem. Um, and this is kind of like a DIY test for me wondering if there was radon in our granite countertops. So whether or not this is the most efficient way of doing it, I do not know. At least it's a short-term test that tells you whether or not there is a limit or a level that you should be concerned about, and then to do some more um, extensive testing. So as you can see, the number that we had um, on our short-term radon test was 0.5. It is actually a limit that's not even something that even registers on their readings. So it was really interesting to see how low it was, and that's even with it laying on top of the granite, granite countertop, which was quite interesting. And you can see from the test results, if you have a result that is under two, you generally don't need to really be concerned. If your result is between two and four, that's when you might wanna start thinking about taking some more action, take a long-term test, uh, get a professional radon remediator in there to test, just so you know. And then anything over four, you definitely wanna be fixing your home. Now you can see that the radon risk is going to be different if you have smoked, versus whether you have never smoked. And then they also tell you what to do next. And again, this is whether you're doing a short-term test, a long-term test, and what those test results are gonna be. The great thing is that this test is relatively affordable, so you can continue to home test, and then if your numbers keep going up, that's when you might wanna call in a professional. I'm gonna leave all the information for that below in the comments, so be sure to click on those links to find out how you can get one of these tests. And I hope you do, because this is really important to be testing your home for radon.